Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create graphical status indicators in MS Project. The visual representation of status helps you save a lot of time. Usually what I do is any tasks that are running late, I mark them as red or I represent those activities using a red light. And you don't have to do this manually, so that's what the fun part is or if you want to set some tasks that are upcoming in a week or two weeks time and you want to take some action so we can set those as well using this method so let's get started i am nick and you are on nick's projects channel So I created a sample project here called test project and I created four tasks uh, one per each week with five days of duration I'll insert a new column which should be text one and I just named it as status so that's how I created that column now here I want to see some kind of indicator in this field so that's what we are going to put in using a formula so let's go ahead to my blog which is nextprojects.com slash blog once you get in there click on the project management and select microsoft project graphical indicator under that post you can scroll down to come under the formula and just copy and paste it over to the MS project just by doing that you will notice that now the status column has some values 3 2 2 6 which still doesn't make sense because we don't know what is this 3 2 means or what 6 represents so basically if you can right click and look at the formula here uh, it will tell you what each of that means so let me just copy and explain you what each of those numbers mean to us in ms project we have a function with if condition the syntax is if condition and what should be the value when it is true and what should be the value when it is false so that's the syntax if we apply the syntax to this we can break multiple nested if condition into smaller pieces so if the first condition is this if the percentage complete is 100 percent then show it as four i'll explain in a bit what four is but that's the if condition and then this is the value when it is true when it is false then everything else has to be executed so let's move that under the else part so if 100% complete display for else do this so now what is this this is another nested if condition so let's again split that out if the current date is greater than or equal to finish that's the condition and if the value is true then we split or show number three if not it goes everything else goes under the else condition and again this is another nested if so we'll split that again if the current date greater than start and the percentage complete is zero that's the condition if it's true display five else do everything else right so in that else there is another if nested if condition so again if the date is greater than finish minus 14 which means it's within two weeks and the percentage complete is less than 80 percent then display two else you you do another check which is if the current date is less than the start then display six else display one so that's the end of all if conditions so five nested if so if we split this formula into an if else statement that's how it looks like 
right so we have a big if condition if 100 percent complete that means the task is done irrespective of the date we want to show it as four which means you know we can call this four as green uh, anything green is task completed right so now that's where we are getting into so if say if we achieved that scenario where it is 100 percent complete it displays number four that's nothing but coming from the formula now how do we make it green so again you want to go back to the status column and right click and say customize field you'll notice that currently the values are displayed as data you want to change that to graphical indicators if you click on that we can select different testing scenarios in this case we are testing equals and the value for 100 percent complete is four and we want to mark that with a green so just by doing that you'll notice that the 100 percent number four became a green you can still point your mouse at the status column and it'll and you will see the numbers uh, that the if condition is returning so in this case it's two because the task is due within two weeks and it's less than 80 percent complete so let's mark those uh, graphical indicators anything which is two is yellow that means it needs to be looked up or it needs attention let's say anything which is three is red now if if you go back and see if today is uh, as per the project the current date is 18th and to the first task was supposed to complete on 16th let's say if it was not completed that means it's delayed in that case the status should show me as red right so let's make it uh, 80 percent which means it's not 100 percent complete so the status now turns to red so that's an easy way for me to go through the status column and see you know what are the things that needs attention and what are the things that is that are delayed so you can customize the formula to add your different scenarios but basically you know it's uh, just different if conditions and returning some numbers so that we can go back and assign a graphical uh, flag or a you know a ball with color to those numbers and that gives us the visual representation of task whether it's uh, complete or whether it's delayed all kind of information so uh, let me go ahead and customize field and click number six and make it as white these are any tasks that are not uh, started yet so you know it will just default all of the tasks to be just white so i guess uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and hope you can make some adjustments to match your scenario uh, in case if you have comments or better way of doing things please put those in the comment section below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, click on the subscribe button so that you get all the latest tips and tricks on project management.